as it was written. Oh man, look, before I start DJ, play that beat right quick, man. I I, I took the DJ from Gossip Girl XOXO. I took I took her DJ to help us out. DJ, thank you for this background music. <laughs> Shout out to Gossip Girl XOXO. But let's talk about the mastermind that no one is talking about, that a lot of people are hitting us up and telling us who probably was the mastermind in this allegedly. Chantel Trone, who everybody is ambiguously feeling bad for, everybody's making excuses for. There's been a lot of people in my DMs who's telling me, bro, the woman who they arrested is the stepmom. She probably had nothing to do with it. No, bro. When she got arrested was after the 17 year old. That lets me know names were dropped, information was given in the interrogation room. But what's even more startling, it's the way folks was coming out before i even tell you what folks was telling us about her hold on we need you to hit that like button hit that notification bell come rock out with us come rock with the movement the i smoke hip-hop live movement where we got breaking news and all type of news out here let me sneeze right quick bless me but this woman had a lot of people who don't really like her hitting us up with information and the best we could do is give you some up-to-date things on what's going on. Now, you do know Freddie Dirty Lee, who was the father of the 17-year-old. He's still on the run right now. Whereabouts unknown, but most likely it's hunting season. They will catch him if the streets don't. That is facts. Now, they saying three people was involved. A lot of people are spectating based on the McDonald across the street and the back, what was going on. And different people were coming inside the restaurant around that time and not purchasing anything and leaving out so we know most likely and highly there were more people involved but what's going on here this lady Chantel is being deemed as the mastermind this is why they said accessory and they kept suspicion on accessory usually they give you a bond on something like that and they let you go but the only reason she's kept is based on what was told by the 17 year old suspect in that room and the only thing that you can think of coming to what was being told is her being a vital role not just no accessory now let's give you guys a rundown of some of the things a quick summary before we continue on the woman suspect Chantel Trone now as it was previously reported wednesday morning the lapd finally named the suspect in the september 12th killing of pnb rock cops first identified freddie lee trone as basically one of the suspects and they said he was still on the loose like we just said they considered him armed and dangerous but y'all already know what we considered him here <laughs> armed and, and, and freaking dirty you feel me they, they they only just released a photo of charm at the time but i seen a lot of bloggers messing up the information just putting the 17 year old arrested so we clarified it and said freddie wasn't arrested he's the father who's on the lamb right now meaning i eat or run and then i think i was the first one who broke that the woman also was arrested because i seen too many people not bringing it up i wasn't gonna even do it but i'm like nobody is bringing chantel up when it's all over the news um timelines of papers right now so we brought it from the L.A. Herald Times. We looked at Chantel a little bit more. And that's when the booming effects of messages was coming in. She also got a record. She's known to be a scandalous type woman. She's very grimy. People was bringing up information, bro. In that whole area, she's been known to line people up before. So I started wondering in my head when I got that, was she the one looking at the IG post? Did they give the drop to her first and she took her two dirty dudes? You know, the young Trone 17 and the older dirty Trone, Freddie who's i think what they said 30 something but or 40 years old i mean but because this woman is 38 yesterday they gave a report she was 32 shout out to my supporters who clarified she was only 38 years old not 32 but basically they shared that the 17 year old was arrested that day too the son was the alleged shooter that lapd is saying he's the one who pulled the trigger i already reported on that as well now the getaway driver was the dad he got away and it was said that the father and son duo were already in the restaurant's parking lot when pnb rock arrived the new update seamlessly removed the possibility that pnb rock you know was targeted from a social media 
made by his girlfriend who shared their exact location at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in Los Angeles. According to a new update by Outlet, a third person has been arrested. It was a woman by the name of Chantel Trone. Cops arrested and booked her for accessory to murder. Law enforcement sources said that Trone is the stepmother of the 17 year old arrested. You know, stepmoms, they gotta rock out and do their thing. Now, the stepmother, you know, she was in a situation where they're claiming that you know a lot of people from the Los Angeles areas that she might be the actual one who planned the whole thing just based on their history with her now more on what happened to PNB Rock as we previously reported the September 12th situation Rakeem Allen who was robbed and fatally shot at the Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles restaurant in Los Angeles that is news of his death sparked many outrage in the music industry former colleagues and friends they, they shared heartfelt condolences. A lot of people said what they had to say. However, his unfortunate death caused a big social media debate. It centered around the location on his girlfriend's. You know, they when they were claiming the social media thing, I still feel the girlfriend was wrong for what she did because you put their life in danger ill regardless. I think people keep trying to tell us to say sorry to her. We never called her the killer. We said her action shows that she's negligence and based on pnb rock told dj academics through previous robberies the way she acts in these situations is childlike so i would never apologize to her that's just my personal opinion i hope all women learn even if this played a role or not stop taking pictures of your whereabouts stop putting your locations on the drops and that's factual nobody in the world will ever make me apologize for saying that that's the only thing we ever said you are a fool your boyfriend been in multiple situations like this and a lot of times you didn't want to leave you laughed about it and in this final time you're taking pictures of the the, the stale waffles come on man let's just be for real now Nicki minaj voiced her opinion you had people like cardi b and a lot of people did kodak black and people are just showing their feelings as far as love for pnb rock situations turn left and you gotta make it all right make it go right again man so much love to everybody who supported this platform who's still supporting this platform i'm gonna keep y'all updated the news is a little bit down right now so i'm only reporting what i see don't make up stories here i'm gonna be reporting a lot of different content today not just the pnb like we do daily over here um if you're not clicking on it that's on you if you're oh he doesn't make other content no you're not watching the other content you're only looking for pnb this is factual we proved it already we went eight days of dropping no pnb content to see if people really rock with the other content we got real people who rock with the other content but we didn't see you fake complaining scoundrels and we're gonna keep it that way you are a scoundrel <laughs> look i'm your guy dj bless one man thank you for rocking out with the hottest platform out here the i smoke hip-hop platform salute to all of y'all thank you for making us the biggest thing out here man love your family love your kids stay blessed